Hey love, so it's time for another wig dupe. This is by the Isis Red Carpet Collection and it is called Scandal. I thought I would do this one because it reminded me a lot of my Ozo wigs. Full lace wig that I just did which was around the $400 range. This one you could pick up for $39 at Elevate Styles. And as you see there is really no part to this unit. So what I'm going to do first is use a pair of tweezers. It is a natural deep side part that is what it states on the packaging. But you will need to tweeze some of this. So get yourself a pair of tweezers and just go where you see the line of kind of like demarcation. You'll notice that the lace is underneath it. Go ahead and tweeze you a part. Don't make it too big, but just make it just enough like I did right here. And I went around the entire thing. And now what I'm going to use is one of my Beauty Treats concealer palettes. It's like the Coastal Sense one, but it's half the price. And I'm going to take that color that is closest to my scalp and I'm going to smear that on the inside of the lace because it is like a deep side part it kind of has a curve which I'm very happy about because I love the curve and then what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to apply some of that to the outer portion but before that I'm going to of course put the wig on take my leave out out and just make a little bit portion of a part in my leave out I want this wig to lay as flat as possible and look as natural as possible so I went ahead and I've kind of curved my own leave out portion as well just so that it can kind of like match. Now using my Beauty Treats concealer palette I'm going to use a really small makeup brush and I'm going to go ahead and go on top of that lace that's in the wig and lightly dab it on my natural skin as well. I don't want a lot of concealer on my natural scalp because it's already light but I want it to kind of blend in and fade out towards my hairline. Using my Topic Hair Filler Fibers I'm going to go ahead and brush those into my hair just to give the illusion that my hair is thicker as well as get that hair prepared because this is a lot of hair. She is 24 inches in length and very very pretty and of course you guys you know I use hairspray as always. Okay ladies so here she is this is Scandal by the Isis Red carpet collection and let me tell you guys something first of all it is a great wig dupe okay so if you guys remember like last week whatever I posted a new wig up it was a human hair kinky straight wig by Ozo Wigs so it was a full lace and of course you know it was expensive it was like in the $400 range so a lot of us don't want to spend that type of moolah on any type of hair um so yes i found the perfect wig dupe and the colors are kind of very similar to what i did but this is like way 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 cheaper you can pick her up on elevatestyles.com so you ladies already seen um there was really no part in this unit um i didn't see a part I really did not see a part. So I created my own by tweezing it. And they don't even have to be expensive tweezers. They can be a dollar as long as they can tweeze. And make you a part where it does look like African American hair. Relaxed. Like, yes. Really, really pretty wig for way cheaper than an actual human hair kinky wig. Futura safe. Futura heat resistant safe. But I'm not going to say go ahead put some heat to it. Because then it's not going to be kinky straight anymore. It's just going to be silky straight. And it's probably not going to last you as long as you would like it to. So take it from me and don't add any heat. The parting looks really great once you tweeze her. And it looks very natural. My advice, make sure when you're putting it on, because it is a right-sided part, that your hair is actually parted on that side. Meaning, my hair is parted on the left. So I do have a braid going across, and I had to kind of like pin my braid down because I wasn't going to unbraid all my hair and get it to lay as flat as possible. If you have a flat portion right here, so if you put your own natural part right here, lay the wig part right here. Also, for those who have been emailing me saying that the Vivica Fox Becky um, wig, which was a middle part, but I turned it to the left, and it's I got it in blue black, that color blue black, and I'll post the picture here for you guys. That is now back available with that same particular color that I used or did the review on, which is the blue. So you can head on to Elevate Styles and pick her up. I'll also include that link as well as the video for it below. I've never been like a huge fan of Vivica Fox, but that wig was a bomb and diggity bomb. And the color is so pretty. And it was a wig too. I like the color. It is kind of like blonded under here. 
um yeah my actual full lace wasn't blonded under here it was actually at the tips but it is more or less like a dupe you get a little bit more color as well as that is there's a load of array of colors on elevatestyles.com so yes ladies and gents divas and divos let me know what you think about scandal is she scandalous scandalous because you may actually think that she is a real human hair wig or a good ass weave yes so on that note all the information for Elevate Styles in this unit as well as the Vivica Fox um, Becky unit will be listed for you guys below. Let me know what you think of Scandal and I will list the color as well for you guys below. And as always, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Stay Diva and Divalicious and I'll be back soon.